Hey, Michael, good morning again. I'm at Bach Bar in South Philadelphia for a breakfast sandwich showdown. We have two of Philly's favorite breakfast spots throwing down this morning. First up, we've got Kyle and Joe from Darnell's Cakes. They've got a bacon, egg, and cheese on a homemade Butterbill biscuit. They seem, they seem like they're ready. Over here, we've got Matthew and Edwin from Middle Child. They're bringing their pastrami egg and cheese breakfast sandwich. Sounds like you guys are ready as well. We have our judges for this round. Right next to me, former Philadelphia Eagle legend, John Runyon, Michael Strahan. We're all on the same team. We've got the owner of Laser Wolf and Zahab Restaurants here in Philadelphia, Michael Salamato. Joining us from our Philadelphia station, WPVI, it's anchor Alicia Vitarelli. All right, so these are the judges that these sandwiches have to impress. Michael, as the chef, you want to tell me what's the key to a great breakfast sandwich? I think a key to a great breakfast sandwich is a perfect bite. You want to get all the flavors. You want the robust headiness of the sandwich in your mouth for one bite. It's got to be great. Okay, well, we know that both of these sandwiches are great. Some of us were trying uh, these beforehand, but let's show America what we're getting into, and who we are celebrating here. Let's get, get... Here in Philly, the most important meal of the day is now the city's biggest bragging rights battle. Contender number one, Darnell's Cakes, run by Joe and Kyle, the restaurant named in honor of Kyle's cousin. I often feel like just his spirit in this place. Just hope it's a good reflection of who he was. They'll be competing with their popular Sammy sandwich, a bacon, egg, and cheese topped with a spicy, sweet Thai shallot mayo and served on a fluffy homemade biscuit. Darnell's Cakes has got this in the bag. Best breakfast sandwich in Philadelphia. There's a lot of other breakfast places in town, and I think everybody is just trying way too hard. Middle child owner Matthew hoping to go to number one in this competition. So it's, yeah, really four simple ingredients, and I love that this sandwich, without trying to be over the top or working so hard, can just taste so good. They'll be headlining with their melt-in-your-mouth pastrami egg and cheese on locally made rye bread. Often the middle child has got to be loud and make a name for themselves, and the whole point of this spot was the lunch counter, was to try to bring people in, create a sense of community, and I think that we've done a pretty good job. We're going to start over here with Darnell's Cakes. Judges, you can dig in. That's the buttermilk biscuit, bacon, egg, and cheese. Uh, Joe and Kyle, what? tell me all about this sandwich, please. I mean, first of all, the key to any good sandwich is the bread. Like, we bake our biscuits fresh in the house every day. There's 216 layers of butter, flour, oh. eggs, sugar, and everything. And it's a light, fluffy, flaky, melt-in-your-mouth sensation. Yes. Tell us about the rest. And we got some applewood smoked bacon here. Uh, we house make our... Uh, uh, sauce, which is our Thai chili uh, sweet aioli, a uh, little uh, blend of cheeses, Gruyere, cheddar, and Parmesan. Wow. Ooh. Wow. All right. So that looks delicious. Judges, you've had your bites, I think. We're, John, we'll start with you. What do you think of Darnell's sandwich here? First off, the aioli is awesome. And, you know, being a big fat guy, <laughs> bacon times two. That's all I got to <laughs> say. Go. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I'll second that. Bacon times two. It's like incredible, and this might be one of the best biscuits I've ever had in my life. Wow! And Alicia, how about you? What do you got down there? I was there? just gonna say, I was told this biscuit was made with butter and love, and this biscuit is like Biscuit Bay. Yeah, there you yes. go. Two hundred sixty layers of butter. All right, Darnell's cakes. You have submitted your entry, but we're gonna move over here now to Middle Child, and we've got Matt and Edwin and a whole bunch of pastrami. Guys, what's up with your sandwiches? Judges, while I learn about the sandwich, you learn about it uh, by eating it. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> our sandwich is all about simplicity, so four simple ingredients. Uh, we've got pastrami. This takes seven days to make. Um, we cure it for a couple of days, smoke it, and then steam it overnight. Mm. Um, we've got locally made uh, rye bread by my buddy Pete at Merzbacher's Bakery, and then uh, another simple ingredient, scrambled eggs. Um, but the, the whole point... Oh, look at that. Oh, the fanatic. Ooh. So it's all about deceivingly simple, you know, just four simple ingredients, no crazy anything, but everything done right. So the eggs, we uh, scramble them to order, aerate them to introduce some air, get them nice and fluffy. Nice. Um, yeah, and, and hopefully all those things work together to make the best sandwich. Well, fantastic stuff. 
So we're going to go back to our judges here. You've had your bite of the middle child pastrami sandwich. John, we'll start with you again. I'll say simple, classic, and really tasty. Okay, easy. Michael. Yeah, it's like nostalgic, you know? It's really put together well. This is going to be a tough competition. Oh, wow. Okay. And Alicia, finally? I have to tell you, I'm a pastrami snob. Other than Michael's, this is pastrami is like a national treasure. <laughs> Protect this at all costs. An it's a national treasure. <laughs> Okay, We're so <laughs> it, is, <laughs> it is time to see no. who's going to advance to our final round. I've got the Sixers Stixers behind me here. Can I get a drum roll, please? Yes, All right. So with the drum roll, we're going to start with our judge, far to my right, John Runyon, Darnell's Cakes, or Middle Child. Who is your winner? Darnell. Darnell's Cakes. Okay. That's one. you got to get two. Michael, who's your winner? Middle Child. Middle Child. Oh, my God. We've got some drama here. Okay, this next vote from Alicia ah! is going to send the winner to New York tomorrow for the chance to win $10,000. No pressure at all. Alicia, who you got? Oh my gosh, being the tiebreaker? All right, listen, they were both so amazing. I will eat these sandwiches forever, but middle child first. Yeah! Middle child! But you're both winners, guys. Thank you so much for being here from Darnell's Cakes. Uh, can we have a, a good sports shake of hands here? We love you. We love you, guys. We love you. And 